Hey y'all, this ride home is taking forever. I had to go pay some bills. Um, also, there's not my van, so we're down to one vehicle right now. And this vehicle, I hate. I don't like cars. Um, and plus, we hit a deer in it in the front, so it's got one headlight. Um, and since I only have to carry liability on this car because it's paid for, I only have liability on it, so yeah, that's not getting fixed for a while. Um, it's been wrecked for a while, that's why we don't use it because the headlight's out. But now I'm having to, so yay me, I hate cars. I don't know what this hair right here is doing, but I just this year, um. And I think it's silly for people to make New Year's resolutions. Come on, you probably broke it that day. Or you'll break it within a week. It makes no sense to make New Year's resolutions. But, I don't know. Something, Something's clicked in me. Something feels different. Something, um... I just feel better. And I haven't felt good since the day my dad died. I really have it, And I, I know I bring that up a lot, but that's literally, I died that day, and I've been living like I haven't been alive ever since that day. Um, Skylar's having a baby, and Billy, and um, I don't know. I think I just needed a light to come in and open my heart back up and stop me from being so closed off and I really think that little Sage Renee is um, doing that and I don't know I I shut down and um, I shut down when daddy died because I felt like my life was over I felt like I lost everything I had and I still, you know, still was a mom, still did everything I had to do, but you can lose your light and you can lose um, who you are and you can be sad and still function. And I feel like that's what I was doing. I was just functioning. And um, I'm really tired of being that person. I'm really tired. I want to um, genuinely feel good and not have to not pretend because I do have moments where I, you know, I'm happy, but I'm always thinking and always, you know, feeling guilty. I don't know when you get left behind, and that's how I'm going to say it because that's how I feel. When you get left behind by somebody that important in your life, you just feel guilty. You feel like... I felt for a long time that, you know, God should have took me and left my dad because my mom needed my dad so bad. And my kids needed my dad. Uh, my boys needed my dad. They, um, He was everything to them. And I needed him, but I knew they needed him more than I needed him. And I, I was willing to trade places. I was willing. And I'm going to try not to cry because I've been doing really good not crying. But I was willing to trade places. But, you know, Skylar got pregnant and um, the first time. And we were so excited. And her best friend called me and was like, hey, I need you to come get Skylar at work. Um, I'm pretty sure she's miscarrying. I picked Skylar up, I took her to the hospital, and unfortunately, of course, she miscarried. Um, that was devastating, because they've really tried so hard. She has changed so many things in her life to try to have a baby, and it just seemed like let down after let down. Um, and now she's pregnant again, and um, I don't know, I just feel like little sage, sweetheart, um, and I hope you see this one day, but you put the light back in me, baby girl, you, um, you have, and every time I think about you, I smile, and 
I know Paul Paul is um Paul Paul sent you down here. I know he did. And um I think the reason I can talk about my daddy now is so I can tell her all about him. And I'm gonna annoy her and tell her all about her to Paul Paul Chicken Willie because he's the reason that her daddy is who he is because he is my daddy made over. You guys have a great evening.